welcome back to another video. Uh, today we'll be looking at the Dragon Fire add-on. Um, so this is uh, the, the add-on that I've looked at today that I've had the most experience with. But even then that's not a lot of experience. That's mainly because these dragons spawn literally everywhere. And it, uh, they're a bit hard to avoid. Um, so I uh, play Minecraft on Switch with my nephews. Um, there's uh, like my base, my base is on the beach, and a bunch of uh, wandering uh, like dragon traders kept spawning uh, with the solar dragon. Uh, yeah, I got a full solar set. I don't recommend solar sets. Get it later. Yeah, basically, uh, dragons now spawn randomly, depending on the biome, in the world. And unfortunately, none of them are spawning to demonstrate my power. Uh, let's read the book and maybe see. Ah. Welcome to Dragonfire. This animal brings the dragons into your world that will naturally spawn across biomes. Keep an eye out for unique looking wandering traders. Wandering trade traders. It feels like that trade is a bit redundant. Redundant is much redundant. Anyway, as someone will carry someone will carry dragon eggs you can find elsewhere. What you need to know, dragons. They can be founded as eggs, hatchlings and adults. Adult dragons can be tamed like horses. But hatchlings will need to be fed their favourite food. Interact with an empty hand to make a tamed hatchling sit, sneak, and interact to make them a tamed adult. To make a tamed adult sit. Uh, text prompts will tell you what a dragon's favourite food is when they hatch. Eggs can be picked up with a pawn nurture and hatched by interacting with them. Adult dragons need a saddle equipped to, to control their flight. Use your jump button to start flying uh, with your dragon. You can fly up or down depending on where you are looking. Look up to fly up, look down to fly down, and look forward to hover. Custom crafting. Dragons will prune themselves, but you can also use shears on them to collect their scales for crafting armor sets and elemental swords. Equipping a full armor set from the same dragon will grant powerful effects. You can craft a dragon pedia with a book and a scale. It provides information on the dragon you interact with when it is used. I don't know what I have. This is dragon fire guide. Okay. Traders, some. Dragons do not spawn naturally, you can find their eggs by uh, trading with unique wandering traders. Dragon fruit traders can be found in villages and the uh, spruce forests. They uh, sell fruits which power up dragons. Where to find them? Solar egg trader, beaches and deserts. Yeah, I saw a lot of them uh, in, the, in the Switch world. Yeah. Uh, elf dragon trader, cherry blossom and mushroom bat forest. Rex Egg Trader, Desert and Mesa, Wandering Egg Trader, The Deep Dark, Gladius Egg Trader in the Mountains. So those are mountains, will you find a Gladius Egg Trader there? Oh, okay. Yeah, This might, I think they might not spawn because these are snowy mounts. I think this is a regular mount.
suppose it becomes a dragon. This guy here, I did not grab. There she is, but yeah. Oh, it's gonna be a baby with it! Oh, it's adorable. These two guys up here. Right, let me go. Uh, get a. Get a. Oh yeah, got plenty of saddles. So I'll go team one normally, and then we'll um, do it. is I'll um, go into creative and get the eggs so we can look better. All the dragons. And well, and then we'll look at all the power sets that again. Uh, well. Yeah, I should have thought about all that. Oh, here we go. Got more dragons here. Let's see if I can hear any of them. I don't know how long it takes for them to be able to be sheared, but uh, they you don't just drop dragon scales. Depending on the, the dragon, they will also drop a bonus item of it, like uh, the uh, grey one we saw earlier with the baby dragon. Uh, if I remember correctly, they drop uh, more iron. Yeah, I can't actually any of these guys, but yeah. Became an adult, all you gotta do, pop them in the back. They love you. Well, that was easy. And you jump. Bye. Look, look, go up. Well, yeah, I'd see that, but that was really annoying. So he takes a fully grown dragon. Literally just like stupid. And then I'll just <laughs> sit there. But yeah, I oh the dra the dragon designs are cool though. Alright, so yeah. Yeah. Idiot I'm having trouble. Ah. There you go. Dragon spawned in my base. Oh, you double. Oh. Uh. So let. Oh yeah, there's the P2 golden problem. P2. I don't know if you I did yesterday. That got more views than the magical crops one. Like why? Why are people more interested in, a po in poisonous potatoes than magical crops? Like. But, anyway. Uh, oh yeah, I want to go to key food one. Trader. So we've got the solar trader, we've got the elf egg trader, 
have the Plessius egg left. We have the Modern egg trader. We have the Rex egg trader. Dragon fruit trader. And then we have the different eggs. Yeah, let's take a look at the egg traders first. This guy in here. Uh -huh. Hello. So that's the next dragon. They always come with like one of the dragons that they sell. Which, yeah, it is trying to like mimic the one of the traders' farms, but basically just steal the dragons. Uh, but yeah, 32 more copper. Oh, I don't even know if I have any more copper because I just tend to smelt it because there's not really any use for more copper. Uh, Oh, I do. 32. Dragon, but we'll... ah. oh, he looks like a king! If these guys didn't despawn, huh. be, they'd be like cool for like a king. Uh, uh, 32 gold. Gold. Like, Dragon, uh -huh. 
Get the other eggs that we do not have, so we want to tigress egg, tigress egg, a storm bolt egg, a fix egg, because we don't have already, zombie egg. So these ones can spawn naturally in the world, don't know where, but uh, yeah, the dragon pea. Uh, we've got Storm Bowl, so we've got I don't think we have Storm Bowl, do we? We've got the Solar one, Sakura one. Lake, and then Bob, and then Rex, Night Stalker, and there's a lot of dragons in this. Don't have the night light, which is funny because night lights are also a. Uh, oh, it tells you what they're capable of. Uh, they're also a uh, dragon from How to Train Your Dragon. Uh, you don't have the myth, but yeah. Got a gladius, yes. Uh, we don't have Rob. Got the elf. Bagula egg. That. Hot. We don't have a cobra. We don't have a tang. Uh, yeah, we can get the tang. Tang. Okay. Don't have that. Don't have that. Uh, I'm just to make absolutely sure I'm not missing any eggs yet. Nope. Okay. So, frog egg. Using frog. So I'll give myself some sets. Place the egg down. Oh, I need one here. Zero. Because it's night time and it's adorable. No. That's why the other dragons didn't attack me when I killed them. Uh, I was wondering why they didn't attack me because they usually do. But maybe it's a bug because I remember back in the day there used to be bug rippers on the pigment where if you one shot one of them, it would like make the other zombie pigmen angry. Uh, come back here, I got caught. Here. And now you all begin to run. Um, yeah. Uh, let me get a saddle so. Take the saddle. Okay. There he is. Um, <laughs> he's stuck in the boat. Gonna call you Froggy. Come on, Froggy. Yeah. 
Told me there was a frog dragon in this game, I would definitely uh, think of this. This is definitely. Uh, can I get some skills off you? No. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have to look into this key. Hold on. Uh, let me put this down. Yeah. Level zero, Zephyr Berries. That's a bit disappointing. I would have liked a bit more information, like where they spawn and stuff like that. Um, so, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to tell you that because I don't know myself. And the book didn't tell me. So, well, neither of the books told me. So, sorry. Tell that, guys. There ain't nothing they can do about it, unfortunately. Use beef to tame it. Yep. 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 Let's beef you up, little guy. Yeah. I'm funny. Oh. That's all you got. Put you down over here. Let's get a good look at you. Oh yes, that is you are cool. Oh yeah. Tail! Giving me cell imperfect cell vibes there. Uh let's get that saddle off ya. Yeah, dragons. Oh I mean it's a bit hard to make dragons not cool. I mean, the latest Dragon series managed to find a way to do that, but no. Uh, let's forget about that. Uh, Cobra Egg, what do you eat? You eat rabbit. Kind of cool. I mean, dragons are already lizards, so making a snake dragon, yeah, not much has really changed. And yeah, I think uh, one of the dragons here is a uh, snake dragon. I've never had that, those like dragon
Uh, let's do the snowflake egg. What do you do in snowballs? I forgot they only stack to 16. So I'd assume the uh, amount of food that you need to feed them would be... Oh, that wall is cool. It just only like adds, adds one more. Yeah. Pretty cool. <laughs> Again, there's not much I can say about these. Like, they, they're just like cool dragons. Like, oh, this is cool. The more way than one. Yeah. Uh, anyway. So, next up is the Fear Claw. You are tamed with beef. Go get the beef down. I didn't pick up two of them. Hoppers. Yeah, yeah, that I got a notification, but yeah, yeah, because of it. Good because it was a private message. Ah, I never really see that. They also moved my mic while I was gone, so you should be able to hear me better now. Because I'm a bit quiet. Definitely wears the only videos with power wears on the job. Glory Strike, Glory Strike, be the best <laughs> Anyway, on to the next pick. Uh, Night Stalker, it was called, cool I think. Yeah, it was called that. Like, uh, I'm just going to go grab all the items that we used to take from previous dragons because it might be used again. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, I do like uh, the draw card. Why do you no know eat draw card? Uh oh. I think we've got a bud because Ava is not changed with draw card and it lied to me, or it is changed with draw card and it's just not doing it. Um, let's try salmon. Salmon. Oh, why you no get tamed? Um. Hold on. Does the fuck kill me? Yeah. I can't wait. Nice stuff in there. Oh, oh gold! Oh, gold! I could have sworn the egg said raw card. Like, you can go back in the video and check. But, uh, <laughs> now I'm just like I said, I'm I just misread it. I do like the purple and like dark, really dark purple, almost black and gold. I, purple is like one of my favorite colors. Like, like neon purple mixed with black has like, like black highlighted with like neon purple. Definitely my favorite color combination. Uh, closely followed by neon uh, black highlighted with neon green. But yeah, that is pretty cool design. I do like it. A big thumbs up for me. <laughs> uh, also, I was thinking of like doing a um, series where I just like get the mobs from the mods to fight each other, like muted creatures fighting. Each other. Um, what am I doing? I'm supposed to be happy. With that. I would need to build in an arena for that. Anyway. Now let's do the night slot. Night light tech. Uh, hatches. Aim roll using glow. Aim stuff. Okie doke. Give. Glow. I probably have some. Okay. That. It doesn't need to breathe fire at you, it'll just slash your throat. Oi! Where do you think you're going? Get back over there, yo. Oh, I do like that. that is cool. Hold on, do you actually glow? Oh, wait, I've got the helmet on. Yeah, I'm on that thing to see in the dark. What? Oh, no, it doesn't. Well, that's a bit disappointing. It would, be, it would be cool if the glowing dragon glowed, but the glowing dragon does not glow. 
which is mildly disappointing. Alright, so next we've got the Myth Egg, which is hatches using obsidian. Still cool as well. So, uh, this is one of the dragons that I encountered uh, um, while uh, doing some single player stuff. Uh, this dragon spawns in the nether, I know that. I think that. I think it's. That one maybe that or oh, right now I think it's that one that spawn also spawns in there. You get a couple of spawns. Uh, and this is probably one of the most powerful dragons for that if you're making like uh, armor and weapons because um, as we'll get into later, it's uh, effect that you get from it is withering, which wither powerful pushing effects because it affects on dead and living. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, but I will say, if you're trying to Enderman farm in the Wart bio, they can get pretty annoying because they will attack the Enderman, and they're not super smart. They will also end up attacking you, and I have died multiple times to them. So yeah, be careful with them around them. Uh, bang! I'm gonna put this bang! Yes. Uh. Tameable using coal. Ah. I'm just going to say coal. Mm -hmm. oh. oh my god. These are guys we saw earlier. Come on. Right, we got one of the wandering traders here. Looks like a dragon that would whose scales would drop for iron. Like he, he basically is just like a big metal dragon. Cool. If you if you um if you like uh, the Broncles in How to Train a Dragon, I think that would definitely be. I think you definitely like that dragon. Wolf we'll farm and Rickness farm. There we go. So, uh, Igris egg. Uh, what do they team with? They team with beef. Oh, got beef on me. Okay. Ow! Yep, that is a dragon with a tiger's head. I like tigers, and if you. If you also like dragons, then this is the dragon for you. Oh, 
Ahora ven hacia Beria. Which is very cool because if he could accidentally kill that, but the poison effect on the potato still kills it. Unknown was killed. Oh yeah, so if you say unknown was killed, it's you. It's it's going to be a dragon. Then magic because they were poisoned. The next dragon is the Stormbolt. Ah, it eats golden apples. Okay, you got an expensive taste. Is tame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. To fully grow. Uh, where's the saddle? Oh, it's right there. Where? Ah. We're going this like earlier in the morning than usual because I want to get this out today. Not really called anything. Anyway, let's go sit here with your friend over here. <laughs> Down. Oh, that is a cool looking dragon now. To the next dragon. Let's see if we can get any scales off these guys. Oh, this guy's already shed his scales, so he drops his yeah dragon scales and also rotten flesh. Why did they make him drop rotten flesh? I do not know. What about you? Have you dropped anything? Not that I can see. Maybe they do scales. Yeah. Oh, this. What about you? Oh yeah, there we go. Now we just wait a moment. There we go. What is scales? Did I drop anything else? I guess it's not 100 percent chance we're going to drop a secondary item. You drop snowballs with your skills. Are you ready to give me? Oh wait, he's already got them. Choose skills and did you drop anything else? Uh, let's go put these in the chest. I just need to get rid of them because my inventory is full. Seen if they've dropped anything. So we got to you. Yep, no, there's scales. Scales. No, there's scales. No, there's scales. Yeah, so uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you where I think they drop because when you hear that, when they get the scales, because it takes a while for them to shed their scales. So, if you're farming their scales, I would highly recommend doing something else. Like maybe the magical crops. Maybe like do magical crops. Mm. Or elemental crops, sorry. In fact, mm. I did a review of that. Please watch it because again, the potato mod got more views on it. And I don't know why. White dragons you probably like though, because they're both like kind of like magical. Uh, let's do the Petrix eggs. Use 
Card. Card. Easy. This is this is the guy that we found. Things we the guy that we um, yeah. This is the same guy that we found. Oh. oh, and it's night time. Uh, uh, right, on to the next drug egg, which is the zombie egg. That is using rotten flesh. That means using rotten flesh. Well, if you have that dragon that rots water flesh and you can get this quite easily, then you eat it while the flesh is exactly the most difficult of fit of uh, things to come by. I got plenty of wild flesh. Flop the egg down. Flip, flip, flip. Now we have a baby dragon. If you right click you can shoot their packs. Poison them. Wait, I'm a regular wandering trader. Oh, I accidentally freed up. But oh well. It's just for the uh, rage farm and I very much doubt it. Yeah, let's take a look at this guy. It looks cool, definitely, but I don't know if I would guess that this was a zombie dragon. I guess these like red parts are supposed to be like where flesh is like falling away. The red cage is cool though, like you can it's it's just like fully exposed. But yeah, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know exactly why I really expect from a zombie dragon. Oh, oh, oh. Right, on to the next dragon. Tide wing gag. Uh, using the oh lapis lazuli, finally an another useful lapis. Because with the exception of what of the, uh, there's not really been a good use for lapis. The only hi, boom.
Take the shadow off. Shift, shift. There we go. Let's take a good look at you. I think it's supposed to be Chris, like a crystal dragon. Oh, wait, I, I can't even remember what they called it. It does look cool. I do like it. Uh, this is supposed to be a crystal dragon then. Night Stalker trying to croon. Uh, you're the Night Stalker. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you dropped gold nuggets. Drops up. Skills. And the obsidian. So I go into the inner skills. Hey! 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 So I, uh, I was never going to be a big fan of a pink dragon. But if you like pink, then that's for you. Uh, I just that remind me like that girl from Digimon. Like, uh, like Next egg. Okay. Pork chop. Dragon out of my way. I'm not a big fan kind of the color brown. Yeah, that's a cool dragon. I like it. The bat the dragon. Uh, 
have a look. What's over here? Back and forth, and I don't need to be over there. Wrong web tag. Oh. Spawn in the nighttime, man. Creep, and then you're dead. I'm sad. Zero. The alpha hatches with glowberry. Oh, the egg. to the next egg. Now we have the Adios egg. I forgot to check what it is on. Glowstone. Okay. Oh, oh. Get back here, you. Oh, wait. It's not glowstone dust. It's glowstone. Get you back over here. Oh, he's got those claws at the front again that I like so much on the other one. Yep. There you go. Oh, this looks like a night dragon. That's cool. Not night as in N, night as in K. Let's see if anybody should this. You? Oh, yeah, you. You just drop the scales. Or could drop something else that I just picked up. Oh, wait, you are. You just gave me one. Scales. No scales. That's not there. Next, though, we've only got a couple left now. We've got the warden egg, which is tamed using skull bit. Oh, that's a Cool, though. Ah, 
And last but not least, the ace egg, which needs pork chops. Cool. It's, it's got spikes on the end of his tail, which is pretty cool. Reminds me a bit of like the Ankylosaurus who would like swing its. It had like a massive club on the end of its tail. It's pretty cool. Or the. Uh, oh, what were they called? The. Uh, ones with the big plates on the back. They have spikes on the end of the tail. That was definitely one with spikes on the end of the tail. Dinosaurs. Right, so next we will be inventory. We'll be looking at dragon fruit trade. Once I get some, I should have some. If not. This guy will spawn in villages and in, uh, what do you call it? Bruce, yeah. And it uh, sells the eggs and the fruits, but you can't see the fruit. That little berry, the vital pear, and the lace. Apparently you can just trade stuff, so hold on. Yeah. So let's get. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 
Why is he doing so good? Like, 20 hit, and he's still not dead. I maxed out your attack, you should be doing way easier than that. Yes. I don't know if it's just bug where he should be doing way more damage. Definitely is faster, got a lot more health. Yeah, or oh, flying is even faster. I don't know why the attack is doing so little. Yeah, you just need 10 emeralds to max out it and you can get stuck, which is... Bad. Oh, it's just bad. It would be nice if they had an icon, because if you only have one of them, it is literally invisible. But you could probably mess with your friends with that. Fill their chest with. Be like, why can't I put anything in my chest? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, and he also sells leads. Huh? Yeah. Now that's all. Uh, let me. Okay, so I go skin. So let's start off with Ace. So if I do Ace, I have the armor. Sword! Take the armor off. In the chest. You're not, you're, you're losing two and a half bars of armor if you're not compared to like the di diamond armor. Uh, and it does not appear to have any. Oh. Uh, the sword sets him on fire. I, I think the armor is also supposed to set him on fire. I don't know where the armor didn't set him on fire. Just did it. Okay. That is, that is gonna get annoying because if you want the, if you want the box, this is going to set the drops on fire. Mm. I don't know why the armor didn't set it on fire. Usually the armor and the sword has the same effect. Oh yeah, it gives you speed. That's what it does. Instead of saying mobs on fire, it gives you speed. Which 
isn't bad. Oh. Eat is all. Got the clang. Let's... Boots, chest plate, um, leggings. Oh, we get a hammer! It's a hammer instead of a uh, sword this time. Uh, let's get a bunch of these down. Cobra. Set. Oh, and you get a spear instead of a sword. Okay, let's test this out. Quick. Bang. Oh, it gives you resistance. Really good. Also, absorption. It's literally not able to do that. Oh, and the hammer sets something. Oh! God. Why do so many of these set them on fire? And it's not even fire, I swear fire, it's like fire on the ground, which is annoying. Yeah, wouldn't recommend the hammer, but the set itself, I would definitely recommend that because you can get a hold of it because it, like resistance is really good. Now the Cobra set. Cobra sword. Not giving me any potion effects. Cobra uh, armor does not Oh wait, it has a chance of poison. And you're still feeling the hard armor down. And I assume the sword also poisons. Yeah. Pretty good. That is probably the wither effect of because it's damaging the zombie, but yeah, it's poison shields. So... Oh, that is a cool looking set. Man. Now we've got the Dragula. That's not giving me any proof of it, so let's see what happens when the zombie hits. I don't think it's doing anything, and I'm... Why does the Dragula saw? Right. It gained a... Well... Like, add on devs, if you're watching this, which I very much doubt, but... If you like, somehow you watch it, you're watching this. STOP MAKING YOUR WEAPONS SET FIRE TO THE GROUND! It's literally the worst, like... It burns up the drops when they die. And as you, as you just saw there... When the zombies get set on fire, and if they hit you, you get set on fire. Like, why is the Dracula sword 
Set them on fire. It should uh, heal you when you do damage to them. That was given you to you on a golden fucking platter. And yet you haven't set them on fire. Why? Yeah, no, would not recommend the sword. And like, as as far as I can tell, the set the armor does literally have very low chance of doing something. Which you might as well just go for the this one flying set because then at least you always get resistance. So in fact, just having a small chance of something maybe happening. else set. Oh, it's, oh no, that might just be the beat. Oh, yeah. Oh, it does give you haste. That, that's actually really good. Like, yeah, haste. Like, if you go in mining and you go in mine faster, Hey, de definitely get this armor save if you like, Ironically, even though this one looks like a miner's minus gear, this one is bad for mining. Uh, now let's see what this is. Oh, finally it's not setting them on fire! It's knocking them back! Why? Why do so many of them just set them mobs on fire? Oh, and I do believe all of these can be enchanted with like uh, looting, mending, unbreaking, and all that jazzy stuff. You made one. So we just did the elf one. So we got frog, frog on, frog on, frog off. Frog on. So, oh, the frog on has a hammer. Frog on, frog off. So the gladius. Yes. Spear. Ah. That's gonna be that thing. We've got the night light. Anyway, so let's see what the frog frog on. Oh, 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 I'm on fire. So this knocks back. Again, at least it's not. He's just not setting them on fire. Hit me. Hit poison. I don't know what the chances are that it's really poisoning them. That's cool. Seems 
was like 100% chance. Jeez. It happened every time they hit me so far, so. Let's go with 100% chance. So, so, yeah, that's pretty. I would, I would definitely recommend that because. Yeah. Uh, the armor poisoning them and the hammer knocking them back, that is definitely. The armor is crafted like armor, and I know the swords are crafted like swords, but I think the speakers are also crafted like swords, but I don't know what the hammers are crafted like. Uh, but I'll definitely like show you, show you like crafting one of these. Right. Next is the Adios. recommend that at all. And now my inventory's a mess. Great. That was the gladius sword. And my inventory's a mess. God damn it. Yeah, we definitely would never, ever, ever recommend that set. Ever. Because you will just end up killing yourself. Right here. Well, let's get a zombie in and see what right here. Oh, it gives you strength. Okay, I would recommend that the armor, because strength is quite good, would not recommend the, the sword at all. The armor does look cool. Right, now I have to find all the different sets in all this. Uh, right, let's do the night light next. So, night light, night light. Right. Where's the legend? Uh, oh, it gives you night vision. Oh no. Right, so because the night, the time on the night vision is so low. Uh, you're constantly going to have this in and out, in and out, in and out with the darkness. It is really annoying. And all I have to do to fix this is make it last a little bit longer. So, yeah, this is this will get annoying quite quickly. Uh, so, wouldn't we recommend that? The sword? Poison. Sword's decent, but again, wouldn't really recommend the armor because that fade, the night vision fading in and out constantly would get very annoying. Myth. 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 Um, myth that gives you. The armor set gives you resistance. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, that does eight attack damage. And the armor is like as good as yeah. So this is. Uh, I would highly recommend this one. Uh, you do have to go to the Nether to get it because that the dragon never played. It is definitely worth the uh, the effort to get it. Night Stalker. 
gives you proper night vision that doesn't go fade in and out. So yes, I would definitely recommend this if you want night vision. Um, oh, I know, it's daytime. I just saw night vision. It's like, oh, I can see everything. Hold on. Oh no, still got the same goddamn problem. So yeah, fuck this armor set. Just the sword. It was a Seven damage, so yeah, not as good as previous sets, but definitely uh, uh, sword. So if you get the sword, get the So let's do the matrix. Sword. I didn't really show. Armor. Jump up two blocks. This is actually better than like the elemental armor. Uh, the jump boost you get from the elemental armor because I, I only just jump up one and a half blocks. Uh, so let's see what the sword does. Uh, it knocks them back. Does six attack damage. Uh, not the strongest. Definitely better than some of the other swords we've looked at today. Right, on to the next one. Rex. Craft the hammers? Yeah, that's how you craft it. Three of them, two of them. Girls, two. Right, let's see what the uh, is. It. You do resistance. It's pretty good. And the hammer is good. Diamond, so the hammer is six attack damage. And it, oh, it slows there. Uh, oh, that's actually really good. I say that's even better like end the knockback because knockback you have to wait for them to get back to you to hit them again. And unless you've got a range weapon, it's not very good. But if you just go in melee, uh, just making it so they can't move, it's really good because then that like, you can stay out their hit range while hitting them. Really nice. That armor set does look cool. I'd say that's probably the best all round set. Like, there are, like, it's not that second best to this one. Because that. Yeah, pretty good. 
Two fans will get that. But then you will redeem yourself in like at the very end of the series. So the armor set gives you or oh, gives you regen. Oh. Eight times. Oh no, it's not regen, it gives you uh and the sword box way. Bonus hat? Absorption, absorption. Ah, I can't remember the eight. Oh, D. Health boost. Yeah, it gives you health boost too. Not regen. Well, that is pretty good health boost. But you get four extra hearts. I believe these dragons spawn in the uh, cherry rogue biome. So if you start there, then you can get this armor, which okay, I'm sure. Knocking back, not bad. And with the extra health, not bad. How much? Uh, need a sword. Get the sword, please. Oh, there we go. Sword was seven damage. Yeah, basically. Oh, yeah, not bad. Just did sacrifice, and now I want to. any push. So let's see. It's me. Oh no. Now. Oh this is the worst set. The, the, when you get hit when the when you get hit with the arm on it sets them on fire. So you can get hit again and then get set on fire. And then the sword sets them on fire so when you get hit again you get set on fire. Where's the set? Oh, but it looks so cool. Looks a bit like, uh... Helmet looks a bit like Shovel Knight. Oh, this look... The armor looks cool, but it is the worst. I only use this armor for decoration. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend going out of your way to get all the armors. It's like, the great armor. Um... Yeah, but other than that, it is the worst set. So got, next up is the snowflake. Oh, I accidentally crafted the zombie chest. Uh, if this, if the snowflake set, sets something on fire, I'm going to be really angry. Uh, the snowflake hammer doesn't give you a pushing effect, so... Okay. Oh, it slows him down, which is quite nice. Um, or... Oh, it slows him down, which, yeah, I think the is uh, dragons will spawn in, like, snow biomes, so... If you hear one of them... Yeah, we we'll definitely recommend getting the set. Slowing your enemy down is quite nice. The sword is as good as diamonds, yeah. If, uh, if some of these dragons, I would definitely recommend hanging around and getting the set. Don't have any other better armor. Right. Ah, solar. Now this is the only other dragon set I got except for like uh, uh, the speed of like a river one. Um, and yeah, this is bad. Yeah, the sets them on fire. The sword sets them on fire. They set you on fire. 
<laughs> and the, the any drops that you get from them there, look. Yeah. So, again. The worst. Just the worst. Be careful, looking cool would not recommend using it at all, ever. Hey, let's see if we can get something better than solar. We've got the storm ball, that sounds cool. But I'm afraid that it's gonna zap me with lightning. Resistance, so you don't get set on fire, but you're still gonna get damaged by the lightning. Watch. I mean, it's not the worst because it needs to give you a fire. But it's like the those I can't remember what the other one was, but like the solar one and the other one that uh, strikes you with lightning uh, that just sets the rock on fire and the one that strikes you with lightning. They are tied for the worst, but this is like the second worst. The last thing you want your armor and your sword to do is deal damage to you. But I, I shouldn't have to explain this. And now it's the Timberwing. I also be a how to train a dragon dragon. Ah, I'll we'll give you a potion effect, so what does it do to your enemy? I'm surprised the armor doesn't knock him back. Like the sword knocks him back, why doesn't the armor not knock him back? They might do something and it just might be a low chance of something, but it's not, I'm not really going to stand here for ages getting whacked by the zombie. Just for like a 5% chance of it knocking them away or something. Wouldn't recommend the armor. Sword's decent. Uh, yeah. To the next armor. This is going to take Ti the tiger bit. I guess yeah. Back damage. Down oh, it does give you speed. Speed is nice. Two to be exact. Does the sword less than you? Oh no! Just doing so well! And then you made it! Set the ground on fire! Why? Be a bad armor decent if you want speed. Well, that would not recommend. Uh, Next is the warden. Oh, no, I don't know what they do. That's the warden. Sword. The warden sword looks cool. Let's take a look at the arm, so one and a half. Okay, oh, oh anyway, what's that? Yeah, so it's as good as diamond. Sword, 
It's better than diamond. Armor's as good as diamond. Sword's better than diamond. The armor's not giving me any effect. Uh, so let me just... Give... Gold. I think this gives you regen. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's just from the golden apple. I need a golden apple. This is just as good as diamond, which is a little bit disappointing seeing how like that one gives you resistance and it and that which makes it better than diamond. Uh bit lackluster. There's a decent set, but it just it's just a standard set that's as good as diamond. Now I'm not gonna give you anything extra, as far as I can tell. Like I might be wrong on that, but actually, there's one thing I want to check that might be true with the arms. Well, I'm going to need to go into spectator mode because... There should be an ancient city somewhere underneath me. If I remember correctly. Oh, do I have... No, I did not write it down. This is Asian City. Uh, I'm just going to summon the warden and put them down some sort of instant. I think it might have some interaction with. Wardens and skull censuses, maybe? That's the only thing I can think of other than like... Again, I'm not going to be just standing here being here for like an hour. Uh, so...
think he might have killed the dragon. Yep. Yeah. Gale was slain by Warden. Yep. Yeah, no. Um, this set, well, it is like I said, as good as diamond. There are just other sets that have bonus effects that make them superior to diamond, even if they uh, don't provide as, uh, even if they don't provide as much uh, protection in more armor bars, like the resistance one would probably give you more uh, protection overall. So yeah, we're not. And with how difficult this is, because you can only get it from like the wandering traders that spawn in the creation cities. I would not recommend going for this. Unless you just want to look for it. I just bear armors that are easier to obtain. Right, so what sets next? Zombie test of the Chest plus boots. Helm. Leggings. Zombie Hammer! Set. So it's not giving me any potion effects, so let's set something different. Summon a zombie. No appear to be doing any real damage. Now I'm probably Armor does seven damage as good as diamond, which uh, but I don't think the armor's really doing anything. Might have a lot of low chance of doing something like that. Again, I'm not gonna stand here getting hit over and over Just in case it does something. Right, if it's that rare, then it's not really worth talking about, then is it? So, oh, there's a 1% chance that if it hits you, it just gets one shot. Yeah, that's not really worth talking about. I don't even go here, so. Yep, yeah, that's the thing. Oh, and I think that's literally everything in this entire mod add on. Yeah, this uh, is pretty cool, and I would definitely recommend uh, uh, on it. Uh, anyone who likes dragon stuff like that. And even if you know that, you just have, you play multiplayer and you have a friend who does like dragons. Uh, it's probably not gonna, um, probably not gonna really like interfere with like any other anything like you're doing. And like, just, like, well, other add-on stuff that you want to do. I will say that it, um, sometimes the dragons will get into your uh, farmland and they'll jump up and down. But comparing like, the armor sets to like. Uh, the other armor says like the elemental armor. The elemental armor is better, and the poisonous character from the from that uh, joke add-on is better. Uh, these do these do look cool. Um, like the elemental armor. If we just like take a look at the elemental armor. Take a look at that, it's basically just like black basic armor, but these are just like really cool like custom models that are all entirely different. And while you may not want to use some of them, like this one, um, they, you know, you still want to have them to have them on display. Uh, but there is like one last thing I want to say about like the armor, like this one that sets the enemies on fire when they hit you. Um, it will set them on fire even though they're on water because it's basically like uses the set block command to set 
a fire block at their feet. Um, and that can be uh, uh, dangerous, well not really dangerous, but um, uh, when I was playing on the Switch, um, I had a chip, I was like doing some farming for the magical crops, and the, uh, the, I had a chest in the water, like the water log just got ruined up, it went and like a drowned quirk, like swims up, and he like, because the chest isn't a full block, it's uh, the ground was inside, technically inside the same block as the chest. When it hit me, then it set down the fire block, destroying the chest and everything inside of it. So, yeah, I lost a lot of hard work there. So, yeah, really, really, really would not recommend those kind of armors. Um, but yeah, hope you guys all did enjoy video hope to see you guys in the next one and bye bye <laughs>